By this time tomorrow, New York City becomes the first in the nation to require proof of vaccination for most any indoor activity. It means if you go to a movie, restaurant, bar, or an indoor concert in New York City, you will have to start showing proof that you're vaccinated. And it will be mandatory in September, but hours before it begins, we still don't quite yet know how it's going to be enforced. News 4's Ida Siegel is live on the Upper East Side with the last minute preps and protests. Ida? Yeah, and Gilma, you know, a lot of it will come down to individual businesses cracking down on their own, sort of like bars do with underage drinking. But we don't have a lot of details about how exactly they should go about doing it. And some of the businesses say they'd like more information. Other people are saying they don't like this policy at all. And that was the message at a rally here this afternoon. On the eve of the city's mandatory vaccine policy, protesters gathered outside Gracie Mansion. They were led by gubernatorial candidate Andrew Giuliani and mayoral candidate Curtis Lewa. There are no needs for these mandates. This is a political push that is being mandated by politics. In the surrounding neighborhood, a different opinion. Yes, I'm very much in favor of it. I think that we have enough experience now that we know what to do to keep others safe and ourselves safe. Starting tomorrow, you will need to show proof of vaccination to eat at restaurants indoors, to go to the gym, see a show, or do any sort of indoor entertainment. The soon-to-be governor was asked if she would consider a similar mandate statewide. I'm open to all options, and I've been assembling a team of experts. I already had a conversation with the health commissioner. I'll be contacting the CDC in a matter of days. Fake COVID cards. Meanwhile, Senator Schumer says there's a flaw in this plan, all the phony vaccination cards floating around. He says they're coming in from overseas, and the federal government needs to do more to stop them. Our Border Patrol, our Customs, and our FBI can go all out with inspections and confiscate any of these cards as they come and they are mailed here. We also asked the mayor's office about enforcement. How are business owners supposed to know if the vaccination cards are real and authentic? And what will happen to the business owners if an unvaccinated person happens to get inside their venue? The mayor's office wrote us back and said essentially that they're in talks with the industry right now and they'll have more details in the coming days and weeks. Reporting live from the Upper East Side, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. A lot left to be worked out. Ida, thank you.